when you work with clay, you go into a different zone. It just, it's like my sanity and my sanctuary, my happy place. I used to teach at the Cornell studio and I realized when it was gone that if no one created another community studio that there would be no place for us to learn from different artists and the different techniques that they were using to play and I realized that was my thing to do in the world. and just be with people that just are wonderful to be with. I mean, everyone here, they come in with this wonderful feeling and they all have the same passion. Doing clay, making pots seems to be addictive. Oh, every time you make one, there's, what if I pulled it out a little uh, wider? What if I made it a little taller? What if I added a foot to it? What if I did the same shape but with a slightly different color, different textures. It's the right combination of uh, an individual activity and a social activity, so you can kind of be there doing your own thing, but it's also a very warm atmosphere and, and, and um, the, everybody here is just very friendly, so you can have, depending on how you're feeling, you can have like a more solitary time but still be in a social area or kind of interact with other people. You know, there's the social aspect where people are sort of engaging in uh, relationships with people who share this common interest, but also um, the, the act of making and creating in a safe space, I think is something that is really hard to find as well. It's really a vulnerable thing for people to create in front of other people, especially when you're an adult. And so the amazing thing about this community and the studio is that every day I see this place proving to be a safe place where people are willing to come and, and show some vulnerability and to create alongside other people and encourage each other and ask questions and, and learn from each other as much as they're learning from their teachers. It's pretty